And I want you to act so you're holding this blue sand ball at the top. So you're going to rotate around the circle, slam to the side of your left. Rotate in a circle, slam to the side. Bring it in a circle, slam straight down. Yep, there you go. And get really low in those legs. I want you to really start to feel your left quad and then brace your core as you bring that ball, the imaginary ball, up and around. One more. Now switch directions. Bring it around in a circle towards your microwave, yep, and then slam down, good. To bend at your left knee and reach your hands up toward the left. And all you're gonna do here is rotate, come back down, rotate, back down. So I want you to squeeze your obliques when you do this. And, yep, you got it. So now your hands are gonna come down just like that, yep. 10 seconds aside, you got it. So we're starting to fire up that left quad, your right oblique. Good. Anything diagonal like this, a lot of these diagonal movements are kind of inspired by the functional patterns. Anything diagonal though is really going to connect your lats, your oblique, to the opposite glute, which is exactly what you want. Switch sides. You're going to hinge forward. You're going to act as if you're holding weights. You do not need weights for this though. You're going to do a T, and then a Y, and then into a I. T, Y, and I. So as you hinge forward, I want you to feel a really deep hamstring stretch. Act as though your tailbone's being pulled right up to the ceiling. Squeeze that upper back as hard as you can. You want to feel your deltoids, which is the side of your arm, and your upper back squeezing. Y and I. Very good. So skater hops, Paige. We have two more movements side to side. And I want you to think of your power coming from your obliques here. Obliques, your elbows pulling to the side. Yep, so really the core and your lateral slings here are what are pulling you to the side. Yeah, there you go. Good. The second you land, press down with that right big toe. Now you're left. Good. You got it. That looks good. Nice and athletic. You're going to do kayak with straight arms. So just a little bend in your knees, and you're going to start to rotate. So the stick is staying on your chest the whole time. But really, um, push the stick together as you do this. So act as though you're pulling it together, um, and you'll feel that all along your arm lines, your chest. Yep, just like that. Good. You got it. Should feel pretty good. So this next exercise, you're going to, with your dumbbell, kneel down, and you're going to chop down and then chop up, chop down, chop up at an angle. Push down with your right foot and pull back with your right foot. I want you to feel your hamstring and brace your abs really tight. Good. So there's a. I'm going to count. There's a lot of things to think about here. You got that pulling back of that right heel to feel your hamstring. Brace your abs really tight. There's four. So you don't shift side to side. Good. Now, also, when you come up, you can rotate your rib cage a little bit to the right. There you go, without moving that right knee. So you'll pause pretty much right there and then rotate with your ribs. Yeah. Woo. Good. I know. Let's do one more and rotate. So good. That was amazing. We're going to do that. We'll have that again round two. Switch sides. Keep pushing your right hip forward and your left heel back. Naturally, the rib cage kind of sets down like this. Try to really lift your rib cage up. So be very tall throughout your torso. So when you're up here, just kind of think about being a little taller in your ribs. That's good. So the hips don't move at all. It's just that upper body, but you want to feel the left hamstring. Start with your circle slams, bring it around, slam down as hard as you can. Bring it around, power, good. Bring it around, we got five aside. Two, squeeze your upper back, three. Abs tight, four, and five, good. And so right when you're at the top, you can really like push your hands down hard and spread them out a little bit. They're a little bit too close on the way down, but if you extend them back more, it'll work your tricep more. Okay, oblique standing crunch. So we're going back to this one where you reach, pull, reach, pull. So your knee is going out to the side. Three, stay low in that left leg, four, five. Can you elongate your arms a little bit more? Reach up as high as you can to the side. One more on the other side, and we're gonna end with the curl. Press. So this time I'm gonna have you, um, you're gonna curl, and then rotate and press. Bring it back down and release. You've done this with the kettlebell before time. So you're gonna curl to the microwave, and then you'll press toward that chalkboard that I think you guys have over there. Back to the microwave, back down. 
So anytime you're facing that microwave, your hand will be up. Rotate straight up, yes, to the microwave. Yep, and then back to the beginning and release. Yep, now bicep curl to the microwave. Yep, press as you're going to the other way. Boom, back to the microwave and then back to the beginning. Two more. Press right up and then as you're coming back down, bring it down. So it won't be here and then rotate. Your arms will move while you're rotating. Yep, press up. Yes, boom, there it is. Boom, you got it. Excellent, now press to the microwave. Yep, rotate to the beginning. Good job, you're done for the day. Woo -woo. Good job. I loved it. Yeah, really good job. You're gonna feel really good the rest of the day. Thank you, Katie. You're awesome. Thank you.